Well, crap. Guess I'm playing this now. Corrupted with double damage? That's quadruple damage. Never before seen numbers. Game breaking numbers, as a matter of fact. Get ready to crash the game. Oh, they buffed Leg Hugger too. Leg Hugger now makes victims bleed on hit. Get through here. Oh my god, Staffy. <laughs> Staffy was dabbing all the way to the insufferable crypt. That was really good. <laughs> okay. Staffy AFK, by the way. What the dog doing? So that's a new thing they added to Staffy. Staffy will now jump to the enemy when you press the uh, spike button. Unfortunately, the enemy has to actually be in range. Is Staffy killing these? Yo, Staffy made it up! Staffy's actually following me platform to platform. I wonder why it wasn't doing that before. Yeah, it got one hit. Wow. Um, I can confirm that this monster doesn't have a face. <laughs> My crits are doing nothing to it. Alright, one more, one more. Nice, they tried to fix the fight a little bit. That was a rare mix-up from a tentacle. Stabby is actually AFK. Wow, I thought I was gonna get hit. All right, looking good, looking good. Trident? Trident's actually one of my favorite items in the game. Um, it now gives increased move speed after a crit. I actually really like the idea of if this thing gives me move speed, like the faster I move, the better. Ooh, wait, I moved really, really fast. I wonder, is there a way for me to measure this? Crap, I didn't kill that. Staffy? <laughs> Staffy can't fight anything. Like, I don't know if there's a good way for me to measure this weapon side by side. But it's like, unless I'm racing someone else who also has a trident, how do I know who's going faster? Crap. Oh, wow, I rejected it? I mean, to be fair, Trident for biomes, and then Panchaku for the actual bosses. Seems right. Oh my god, I just ate all of that. Will you go up? You will not go up. Wait, isn't this thing supposed to have... I lost the legendary affix on the leg hugger. It had bleed on hit, now it has nothing. I think that might be a bug. Rare bug. Look at that. There's no bleed there. And if I activate... I can't activate unless I have a target. Yeah, so that's the activation. Now I do get the bleed, but when that wears off, no more bleed. I should not be doing this while cursed, by the way. I just realized that. Love getting the curse right at the end of the level. How about the beginning of the level? How about right before a Mario Maker puzzle? My god, there's so many mummies.
I know it seems counterproductive to kill those, but we're gonna take the teleport and like fast travel forward. Decision making people, it's hard. Should it ask during the dev Q&A? Should it ask during the v.me Q&A, actually? Firebrand's legendary actually really good right now. Applies double the stacks of fire, and it does really good damage once it has that much. Pyro, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I know it says it does the same thing. I'm ignoring that. Yeah, Telluric Shot gives you a bubble on kill. But it actually looks like if you have a monster that you kill after you hit it, you get the bubble after too. Like you just have to tag something. So I had a bubble just then, but unfortunately I couldn't do anything with it. I was a little too far away. Oh my God. Is that the hit? V, all you have to do is take it for the giant. That's it. That's all. You literally will kill the giant instantly. And then you have to fight Hand of the King. You will kill Han the King instantly, and then it's the end of the game. You win the game. Armadillo pack, that's probably what I should have gotten, but I know I'm not gonna dodge roll too much in the beginning here. And then we'll do one dodge roll against Han the King and hopefully not a single one after. Does disengage work on Curse Sword? No. The only thing that kind of works is emergency triage where you can drink and get the bubble. Oh my God, my skills. I forgot, I'm locked out. I can't parry. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. <laughs> You're dead. Can you cheese it though? Like, is it possible for me to activate corrupted power, like at the star of Hand of the King, and then walk into the Hand of the King fight? and then keep her the, the corrupted power. Oh, I should probably get synergy on this. Okay, not bad. So if I do something like this, pop it, swap, behind Hand of the King, we might pop off. <laughs> I messed up. Rip run incoming? Never. Believers. Believers. Who are my real ones in the chat who never stop believing? I almost parried. I almost parried. I completely forgot that I can't use my shield. I was gonna lose the run instantly. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Might be good. Get that crap out of here. That was buffed, by the way. 75% bonus damage on every crit of Nerves of Steel. It used to be 25%. Now it's even better than it has always been. We just leave that there and we'll come back for it for the final boss. That's oh my god. That thing has quadruple damage on it. Is that better than Curse Sword? I have a sneaking suspicion if you have the uh, Tainted Flask, it's actually better. Panchaku burns the enemy. And we only have like a bonus 15% on it. It's nothing to really write home about. But it's kind of fun being able to stack all this fire on the enemy. And even that attack, like I crit three different monsters with that one like leg move, that one kick, that was really cool. All right, I hope you all are ready for this. This is gonna be pretty bad, pretty bad. 
240 million damage. Wait, I actually need this. <laughs> I need to be able to activate my abilities and then swap. We did find out that your weapon follows you throughout the actual um, collect uh, spoiler boss fight. And it still works. Kind of cute. Uh, open wounds. Tainted flask. Here we go. This is the strat. Triage. Tainted flask is giving us 88% damage. Literally no way we lose here. Actually zero possibility. Same strat. Pop all of our abilities and then pray that I get to do an attack. It's gonna say, let's wait to see what the first move is. Okay. Good positioning. Drink again, please. You're toxic. How dare you. Leave it. I was about to say, be careful of Ram is spawning here. <laughs> Wait, this is actually kind of fun. Oh no, I'm locked out. I need this. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> All right. That is genuine fun. If I have ever seen anything in Dead Cells, and I've seen a lot, I have a lot of hours in this game. Swapping gear so you can use your skills to play Cursor? That is genuine entertainment. <laughs> I would come to you regardless of yeah, Vord, I'm using the cog wheel. We're spinning the hamster wheel in the brain. It's like you're playing StarCraft. It's like you're playing League of Legends. You gotta keep the actions per minute up. <laughs> it probably runs up the timer though. Like, the longer I stall in menus, the longer the timer goes. <laughs> 34 minutes, but my real life time is a freaking hour. How did that happen? I don't get it. <laughs> Yo, that was actually super fun. Give me a Y in the chat if that makes you want to play Legendary Curse Sword more often. Or give me an N in the chat if V, I will still die as soon as I pick up the item. You're just trolling me. Trying to get me to increase my lose rate so that you have a higher win rate. <laughs>